Hello, everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic, probably day when this is going to get uploaded. But if you're watching this at a different time, then hope you're having a fantastic that. Um, but yeah, today it is time to move on to the Super Swedes. So we are going to be drafting players today that are born in Sweden. And that's it. All right. So I'm going to randomize the team here. I'm going to let it go a little bit longer again, just so we get a truly random team here. And I am going to stop right now. Pretty sure we just had them. We did just have them, actually, for the U.S. draft. Nah, I simply will not allow this. I'm redoing it. No, re-roll, re-roll. This might be the first re-roll ever. But anyway, and boom. If we got them again, I would have cried. And start career. I'm going to not wait too long this time. I'm going to say we get pick 12. Will I be right? Unlikely, but it's worth a shot. Just in case, you never know. Ottawa, where will we land? It is going to be at position number. Come on, NHL. I can only stall for so long. Well... It's like the inverse of what I said. Okay, let's begin the draft here, and let's see what we can get, pretty much. So yeah, we are kind of late, but at the same time, that does mean that we will get picks essentially almost, well, not essentially back-to-back, -back, not even really super close, but you know you know what I mean, kind of. Well, it's too bad we're not doing a finished draft because we got one, two, three right here. <laughs> All right, well, we can take Nick Backstrom on your Washington Capitals, 89 overall. That's a good spot to start as a centerman there, so... Yeah, I'm definitely happy with that one. Um, let's see. I'm, I'm thinking we might want to take a goalie kind of soon. I'm trying to think of... Oh, man. Okay, we can take Robin Lehner. 5 million. 87 overall. Uh, that's pretty solid. Okay, so that, that's a goalie out of the way. I feel like we kind of needed that. All right, we can pick up Klingberg. So I'm going to do just that. Although his contract is completely out of control... I'm going to take EK65. All right, we're getting a lot of defensemen here, but Ekholm is another solid pickup, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and grab him. We already have three defensemen, one forward. Our offense is not going to be great, but we've been in this situation before. So maybe we can have the whole defense wins championships type of deal. So we can take both Raquel and William Carlson. I'm going to take Raquel, and then I'm just going to hope that Willie is still there. And then we'll try to pick him up as well. All right, update. Not here. Hornquist, 84 overall. 5.3 million is a little expensive, but we we need forwards here, so I gotta make a sacrifice. Well, another right winger, but I mean, we don't have a whole lot of choice here, so I'll take Jakob Silverberg for now. Well, we're not gonna be able to take him for much longer, so I'm gonna take Hank. So now our goaltender situation is all taken care of. Are all Swedish players that are forward right wingers or what? What's up? But anyway, Victor Arvidsson. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Another one. Well, technically he's right slash left. Probably some of the other ones are too, so we should be okay. Yarn Crook, center slash left winger on a pretty good deal and a left winger, so absolutely. Yanmark, another centerman here on an extremely good contract. 81 overall, can't say no to that. I don't know. <laughs> I always say this. It's going to be, well, we still have $25 million left, but we have not got a whole lot of forward positions and we still need three defensemen. But anyway, uh, Backland. Centerman, 5.3, 83 overall. I mean, yeah, might as well. These contracts are absurd, man. But Anton Strahlman, yeah, there we go. We need a defenseman, so we need two more, actually, on top of him. Carl Soderberg, another center, but good contract. Can also play left wing, apparently. That's sick. Yeah, 80 overall on one milli. Why not? Let's go ahead and add this man to the team. So basically I still need three forwards and I need two more defensemen. We are in a bit of a situation here. Oh, Nameth, I had no idea. I actually had to look him up because I never would have guessed, but apparently he's born in Stockholm, Sweden. So there we go. I mean, compared to the other teams we've drafted, this is the one I would least expect to win a cup. But I mean, you never know, honestly, anything could happen with this simulation engine. So I'm not gonna completely count the team out, but yeah, it's looking, like, it's going to be a rough ride. I have absolutely no idea what this team is going to end up looking like. Um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. All right, I'm going to add Mojo to the team. 4.5 center slash left wing. Yeah, but it's, it's going to be... We only drafted one person who's actually listed as a left winger fully. But, yeah, um, we need one more defenseman, and then we can go try to put this team together. 79 overall. Carl Gunnarsson, but we stayed within the cap, so I'm impressed. There it is. Let's go put this team together. Um, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think this team has a shot? I, I don't believe they do, but we'll find out. We have what should be two pretty good goalies, so we have a good goaltender tandem for sure. 
Offense is we have Nick Backstrom and then a bunch of players that, you know, are like 20, 30 goal scorers, but nothing crazy. Our defense is... Actually, our defense is pretty stacked, I must say. At least the top four, anyway. Fantasy draft complete. Let's go have a look here at our teams. There it is. Yeah, I don't know. Offensively, we're not tremendous. Defensively, we're good. Pretty solid goaltender situation. I think we'll make the playoffs. Don't think we are going to the cup. All right, let's go to the edit line screen. What do we got here? Well, ooh, all right. I'm going to do best lines. Uh, no, best lines. Boom. All right, so yeah, they literally made it worse, but I don't care. Apparently, they know what's best, so I'm going to let them do it. Yarncrook, Backstrom, and Raquel. Arvidsson, Backlund, Silverberg. We got Yanmark, Soderberg, and Hornqvist. Then we got Fast, Johansson, and nope. That's not who goes there, that's for sure. And Oscar Sundqvist, who actually brought the chemistry up. Now, who has better faceoffs? I'm assuming Mojo, because he's... Oh, no, no. All right, there you go. You've earned your spot. All right, so there's our offense. On defense, we have... Let's make sure everyone's here. Looks like it. Yeah, so we got Ekholm with Carlson, Klingberg with Namath, and then we've got Gunnarsson and Strahlman. Yeah, all plus one, which is decent. And then in net, we've got Robin Lehner and Henrik Lundqvist. Let's do this. I'm going to say Nick Backstrom gets the most points with 77. And I'm going to say that the team ends up with 44 wins. That is my early on predictions. If you have any... Go ahead and leave them down below. But here we go. Let's get it started. Okay, off to a pretty hot start here. I shouldn't have said anything because now we're going to lose. Oh, all right. 4-0-0. Oh, oh. Okay, so either this team is going to have a complete collapse, fall from grace, which totally possible. Or I really, really underestimated this team because holy crap. I mean, they're not as insane as they were when we started here with like the 9-1-0 record, but still doing phenomenal. So yeah, I... I, I still don't want to say I underestimated this team because everybody here knows by now that anything can happen after the trade deadline. So we shouldn't assume anything just yet. But I must say it's looking very good. And I think that my prediction of 44 wins is going to be undershot. It, well, I mean, overshot insanely by the team. I'm trying to like, that's why I stumbled. I'm trying to think of how you would interpret where I'm coming from with that, you know, like. The team's going to overshoot my goal. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh-oh, Joey LaBarbera headed out the door. Hate to see it. You really do. I am going to keep my trading block. And once again, we could make trades. I don't feel like we have to. This team is doing wonderful. So, yeah. But I'll, I'll show you the trading block anyway as we do. Mostly so I could be presented with my favorite screen in the whole game. There you have it, folks. All right. Yeah, let's go ahead. Here we go. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm so ready. There it is. It's lovely. My favorite. Perron, McCabe, and McGinn all went to the Golden Knights in exchange for two firsts, a uh, Brook and a fourth. Wow. All right. It's a big one. We get a second. We get uh, two firsts headed to Minnesota. And I don't know how to pronounce that guy's name. I don't know. I, Hajek just sounds not right. I feel like it'd be like Hayek or something. Probably both wrong. And a seventh rounder in exchange for Shen, Manson, and Achari. Wow. All right. There's some big moves going on. Hugo Lemieux. What a name. See you later. The Jets have relieved you of your duties. NHL season is complete. Let's stop the simulation. We got Pittsburgh in round one. I think it's a surprise to nobody that we managed to make it in the playoffs. And we did it with 56 wins. Wow. I'm actually very excited to see the stats for this team. And Baxter put up 85 points. What a legend. Never saw that coming. Did we win the presidents? I wasn't even really paying attention. Oh my word, we did. Okay. All right. President's trophy on lock. Nice. Good job, guys. That's insane. 115, which is the lowest place team to make it in the playoffs. Uh, is it going to be 16? No, it's going to be 18. The Arizona Yotes. Individual player stats time. We know Nick Backstrom got 85. What a legend. Certified, actually. Raquel put up 77. We've got Carlson with 74. Wow. All right. Our team really overperformed, I must say, at least from my expectations. Maybe you guys saw it coming and I missed something, but wow. Our goalies did phenomenal. Okay. What a team. Honestly, I'm in shock right now. This team is insane. All right. Well, we don't need to look at, you know, the roster of the team that won the President's Trophy because you're looking at it right now. Claude Giroux, 107, gets the Art Ross. O'Reilly, well, I guess they kind of tied for the other Ross. I'm not sure how that works. Do they split it? Or, because I know the Maurice Rock Richard will give it to two people. I don't know if the Art Ross is the same. Maybe it will. 
Or maybe it's the person that got to that point number first. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, here's the top people. Let's go ahead and start the playoffs. Well, here goes nothing. First round exit, potentially, most likely. Let's find out. Pittsburgh's up 1-0. Okay, 1-1. Nice, we get the dub there. 2-1 good guys. 3-1 good guys. Wow, we made it past first round. All right, that's a... Uh... We've already succeeded, in my books, you know? This is just an unbelievable simulation. Boom. Oh, no. Oh, yes, we're moving on to the conference finals against the New York Rangers. Let's do this. All right, let's proceed. No, not like this. Oh, no, we're down two. We... Oh, we're done. Yeah, we're done for sure. Man, what a good run, though. Holy crap. That was insane. I love this team. So the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim take home the Stanley Cup. They had Tyler Sagan, Vinny Trocek, Brent Burns, Pavelski. Okay, they have a, they have a pretty solid team here, I must say. So, yeah, I mean, it kind of makes sense. Um, I think our team was, you know, on this level, though. I don't know why they beat us so convincingly. But anyway, in net, they have... Bobrovsky and Phoenix Copley. All right, the North Pole man himself. Let's check out the awards. So we already pretty much know this stuff. And if we go to individual, so yeah, I just gave it to Giroux. So I'm not sure how that works, but Giroux is the winner for the Art Ross. Also gets the Hart Memorial. EK65 gets the James Norris. Love that. Nate Mack with the Lady Bang. Hoglander gets the Calder. Bobrovsky with the Con Smythe. Blackwood with the Vesna. Normally these are like one and two. Um, the William M. Jennings goes to Robin Lehner. Nice. All right. Oh, wait, sorry. No, it's these two that normally go together. But Blackwood and Lehner. All right. Then we got Yarmulson, who, yeah, he was someone I had my eye on, but never got around to picking him. Bill Masterton winner. We got the Jack Adams to that guy. Uh, Barkov with the Selkie, Giroux with the Ted Lindsay, and the Maurice Rogrichard goes to Nate Mack. Have a look at the playoff tree here for anyone that is curious. So there you have it. That's how it all went down. And yeah, the Rangers made light work of us in the conference finals, unfortunately, but it looks like we would have had our number matched in the finals anyway. So it was going to be two tough series there, and I'm very happy with how the team performed, though. So yeah, that was good. I'm very happy with that. Anyways, guys, Countdown NHL 22 is still on. Uh, if you want to see, I'm going to try to release a Be A Pro as soon as I can to get that Goalie Be A Pro out, get some content out for you guys. So be sure to subscribe so that you know when that stuff drops. And you're there for it. All right. Be sure to leave a like too. That'd be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you soon.